afternoon and it is underway. Corner is taken quickly, it's headed more up than away by Harry Taylor and it's not cleared. Another shot comes in from Brindley but now maybe a chance of a Barnett counter-attack here. But Skeffington's ball is asking a lot of Tommy Adeloy. Absolutely on paper, one of the strongest sides we've seen at the high of this season. Plenty of EFL experience dotted throughout their squad. Here's Adeloy though. He's going to go at goal himself, but it doesn't trouble Slocum. But a little bit of attacking intent there from the Bees. Reeves out to Brindley. Back in field to Reeves. It's a dangerous ball towards Rodriguez. His effort is off target, kept in play by Sam. Knocked back towards the far post. Headed goalwards by Brindley. Hook clear by Nugent. And the Barnet defence can breathe a side, side of relief. It would have been a fantastic finish from Ruben Rodriguez had he managed to beat Adam Parks from the tight angle, but Barnet lived to survive that one. The answer to that is no. Barnet looks to get the ball back into the box pretty quickly. Ball flicked in towards Adeloy. Harry Taylor out to Kefalas. Kefalas has Vaughan for support. Just lacking in power of that ball to Vaughan. Vaughan. Drop to McQueen. Out to Adeloy. Got a crowd of bodies in front of him being forced backwards. Stam stumbles on the ball. Still retains possession. Out to Mason Clark now. Looks to get a shot away. He does eventually. It has Slocum scrambling. And it just skims the post. Best chance of the game and it's fallen to the bees. Ephraim Mason Clark there. Well, that's fantastic from Tommy Adloy again, holding the ball up. Well, Aaron, as we get the replay, finds Mason Clark. He twists, turns, tries to find that inch of space. And the shot is just wide. Slocum scrambling, as you said. It looked almost impossible that he'd find a way through that many sky blue bodies. But he managed to leave Reeves behind and just create that extra yard needed to get a shot away. And it wasn't too far away. What's this meeting here between these sides? Last season never went ahead as it was after the season, well, the time the season was paused and then later curtailed. Free kick taken quickly. And Reeves is going to try. And that moved all over the place. And Adam Parks did well in truth to get a couple of gloves to it. It looked like he was about to lose his footing, Adam Parks. So he's done exceptionally well to ensure that's not gone into the back of the net. He's tried his luck, Reeves. And it's swirling all over and Parks does just enough. Corner comes in. Good delivery. Headed down by Chickson. Could it be a free header here? And it's turned home. Notts County take the lead. And it just dropped kindly for Mark Ellis to get his head on to and give the Magpies a goal before the break. And it's a goal that comes in such sloppy circumstances. The Bees just don't clear their lines and Ellis goes in and gets his head on it and no chance for Adam Parks but crawl on the peas who've been so resolute in this first half Aaron well that will be the half time team talks out the window for both sets of managers fifth goal of the season for Mark Ellis and there is the half time whistle Ruben Rodriguez has drifted into yards of space and that ball was certainly aimed towards him but uh, couldn't quite get through to the Portuguese. Over the top, top here, Miller is going to get his foot to it across to Rodriguez who places that into the bottom right corner and it is the perfect start 
to the second half for Notts County as they double their advantage. And it's Ruben Rodriguez who has done the damage. But all about that ball from Calvin Miller. Yeah, fantastic pass, and it's a really well-worked goal. Great finish from Ruben Rodriguez, who we spoke a lot about, and uh, he's got that second goal, and it could be a crucial one for Notts County, but it's a great move and a fantastic finish. Absolutely, and I think you could tell that in the celebrations from the Notts County players. Goals either side of half-time have given the Magpies breathing space in this one. Barnet nil, Notts County 2. Doyle now, crossing into the centre circle. Ball forward to Sam, and now Rodriguez has Miller on the left-hand side on the overlap. Miller gets into a shooting position, shoots low, and it's... Has it gone over the line? I think it has, it's been given. Great work again from Calvin Miller. I think he will go down as most likely a Ben Nugent own goal. We'll have to take another look at that, whether he's turned it in over the line himself. But yet again, it's the Harrogate Loney with some great work down his left-hand side. Yeah, I think that almost well, certainly has to go down as a Nugent own goal. Yeah, Unless you count the original shot. Really well again, no, Notts County playing down the sides of Barnet. That's unfortunate for, for Ben Nugent, but yeah, clearly crosses the line and that will be that for the result this afternoon. Now even more. Here's Efron Mason Clark. Knocks it back to McQueen. Another aimless ball from him though. Now it's with Mark Ellis. Here's Griffiths. Crosses in, good ball, Kyle Wooden, what a fine save that is by Adam Parks. Kyle Wooden got a foot to it, but a reaction stop from the Watford Loney, keeps it at three. Fantastic stop from Adam Parks, it was a lovely move from Notts County, they spread the ball out wide so nicely in the cross into the box. Kyle Wooden does really well to find some space and does a hard part right, makes a contact and is denied by a fantastic stop. McQueen triangles attempted by Barnett but they give the ball away but they get it immediately back Trasso has joined over on that far side as well three or four sky blue bodies in front of him though now it's on this far uh, near side with Vaughan back all the way to Nugent everyone apart from Parks is now in the Notts County half Trasso though running at goal might get a shot away here and forces Slocum into a, sa a save to his right-hand side. A bit of attacking intent from the Bees. It's been one of our better attacking moments in the second half. I think Petrasso's done pretty well since he's come off the bench. and It was a simple stop for Slocum, but as you say, a bit of attacking intent from the Bees, who haven't stopped trying to plug away, despite the game being over quite a while ago in this. Good support offered by Slocum, though. No, his ball is brought down by Sam and now it's with Reeves slips through Baldwin flag stays down see what a Dutchman can do he's lining up a shot here and curls it past Parks and it is four four Notts County first real opportunity Enzio Baldwin has had and he's found a way to breach the Barnet defence four nil to Notts County it's been the perfect away performance from Ian Birchnell's men just wonder if Adam Parks got slightly unsighted by the ball right in the corner but you always felt that Baldwin was going to cut inside and shoot and he puts a cherry on top of the Notts County cake this afternoon Aaron, it, everything has gone perfectly in many ways for Ian Birchmore's side. All difference of minus 50 now and minus 52 as it stands, can they pull one back here? Strikes McBurney's back. Can he get a shot away? The Scott. Petrasso does, though. That's a goal back. And Michael Petrasso gets his eight for the season and one against his former side. 
think he deserves it, Aaron, after coming on. Xander McBurney sort of just seemed, the ball just didn't seem to leave him. It was like a magnet to him. And uh, the ball comes out to Petras and he rifles it, gets his head over the ball, good finish from the Canadian. And look, it's a consolation goal, but I think it's a consolation that maybe Barnett deserve as we've said that they've shown endeavour and application they haven't stopped plugging away that will disappoint Notts County who that will be the questions asked now post-match is the disappointment in not keeping a clean sheet there's another opportunity Tommy Adeloy racing forward look at the ball in the box somehow keeps control of it tear from Mason Clark it drops and his shot goes just wide Bees appealing for a penalty and therefore, Mason Clark was brought down. Tommy Adeloy in somewhat of a shock there that referee hasn't given it. Get another look at it from this angle. Somehow, Tommy Adeloy, the most audacious skill there. And you can see why there are appeals. Take another look from this angle. The only argument could be that Mason Clark has got the shot away by the time contact is made referee looks at his watch the ball enters Notts County half looks at it again and does blow for full time and it's an important win for Notts County as